In this quick tip, we're going to learn how to add a pop-up. We'll select the pop-up container and drag it onto the page. Notice that our pop-up comes with this grayed out background. That's because our pop-up will hide anything underneath it, and by default, our pop-up will be hidden. In the Styles tab, you can set this gray out color to something a little bit lighter if you wanted a pop-up to look more like this. Now that we've added a pop-up to the page, we need a way to show it. So we'll click on this button, and we'll start a workflow, and we'll look for the action Show, and we'll find the element Pop-up A. Now when we click on this button, it'll automatically show us the pop-up, and by default, the pop-up will fade in. When you click out of the pop-up, the pop-up will close. If you don't want this to happen, you can check this off in the property editor, so that way you can't hit escape and you can't click out. You would instead need to create a button inside this pop-up to hide it. Our pop-up acts like a group, so I'll go ahead and add some elements into it to give it more of a design. Now when we preview the page and load our pop-up, we actually have something inside of it. You can get more creative with this as you build your app and put things like a login or sign up form inside. That's it for this quick tip. For more, be sure to check out bubble.io academy.